So this is the Batch Cafe. I'm Kate French and we've been here now for 10 years, brewing up Hummingbird Coffee, keeping the community well fed. We have all of our, actually about five years ago we did a full waste audit on the cafe, so we stored all of our rubbish, kept everything, sorted it, piled it and was like, this is a bit gross, what can we do to start eliminating it? Going through each of those piles, creating solutions of how we can eliminate them. So one of them was our packaging waste, so we've gone completely compostable and we've got some gardens set up now where we're composting um, all of our packaging collecting it on site from the cafe. We're now just trying to expand that a little bit further and see what more we can grab back in that's going out to the community. The Pruitt Series, we're really busy. We're running a seven day a week business. We've got over 20 staff. We don't feel like we have spare time and we've been wanting to expand this composting system for ages and we've been talking about it a lot and seeing, getting nowhere with it. Um, and the Pruitt Series came along, it was short, sharp and sweet. It was 12 weeks um, and it gave us access to amazing resources that we don't get when we're working within our business. And so the Prove It series, yeah, connected us to resources that we weren't gonna get, but m hold us accountable and just like, it's 12 weeks, find the time, get it done. Uh, there were some really awesome key speakers that came down and they were just really inspiring. We work in a bubble and we, we're here all the time if we're not here at home. Um, so it sort of got us outside of that bubble and those speakers were really cool and found them really valuable reaching out within the same sector, you know, and facing the same problems and um, overcoming those issues and obstacles. Um, so the speakers were yeah, really cool. Um, it connected us with our community, so other phone and fibre um, industries, and that was valuable in itself, again, sharing the burden, sharing the problems, and just creating a community that was really, really valuable. And then again, also those expertise. So we've had marketing access, we've had sustainability messaging. There's been so much that um, has become available to us that we wouldn't otherwise be able to access or necessarily be able to afford. So just was like, hey, we could go so much bigger than us. Like, why solve our problems? Why, why, where do we, why do we need to stop with us? So um, we're looking to sort of try to go a bit more community-wide with the composting and see how much, how far we can actually go if we can get a community-wide collection system happening. Composting facilities in Invercargill, they don't exist. So we're actually, if we can create a bit of movement with that, um, how, how big can we go? So. It probably just dug a bigger hole for me, but <laughs> that's really exciting to see where that can take us. Yeah, the industry as a whole has a real issue with single-use packaging. Um, it's a real dirty word. Yeah, we're trying to solve that issue, and it's multifaceted. There's lots of solutions to try to reduce the single-use packaging situation, but um, our industry relies on some element of single-use packaging. So, what can we do to help eliminate some of that waste? Go to compostable but there's no facility, okay, we'll make the facility. And I think the more that we create the demand, it'll put the pressure on the local government and things to be able to maybe help get some infrastructure in place. But um, yeah, it's just it, it's that, um, the mentality that our industry is suffering with that what we're doing is bad for the environment. And it is, like, it's, there is a lot of packaging going out just from us alone, and so what can we do to just close that circle? So I want to see a community-wide um, cup library. Um, so I'd love to see a citywide cup library so you can bring a cup into us, take it somewhere else, use that cup collecting system. It's a bit of a circular cup system and, and, and hopefully we can get a bigger portion of the population into using compostable packaging if the facilities are there to get rid of it. Um, then hopefully we can get more of the community buying into the system. Um, we are in the process of trying to um, acquire a commercial composter, so just to help break some down those barriers, we'll be able to turn the compost over a bit quicker. So the cups um, come and get used on site or take away customers. We're encouraging them um, and our community to bring them back into our composting collection box. They're then composted in the garden. Um, we've got a whole lot of raised garden beds and a bigger prototype that we're building. They then, we use then the compost into the garden, so the garden compost is then used um, for the produce and things that we, we sell in the cafe. Um, the produce that comes out of that compost is amazing. It's waxy and beautiful and it's the, the colour of it's incredible.